Hi everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. This is part two of the uh, review of our Nepenthes breeding program as of December 2017. Uh, right here we're looking at Nepenthes Titan's Mirror, which is Truncata by Mira. I've covered this cross fairly extensively in a couple of videos, but uh, this is one of the biggest, uh, just in terms of mass, crosses we've gotten off of Titan so far. Uh, they're quite large, as you can see they've got these big leaves uh, that are nice and round. Uh, and they're, they're doing quite well. Got another one of the Titan crosses here, which is Nepenthes Titanic Triumph, which is Truncata by Talangensis. I also did a video about this cross. Um, they're catching up to the Titan's mirror. They're showing some nice mature characteristics with the speckles and the, the pitcher shape, the, the shape of the mouth of the pitcher especially. Moving on to some other crosses, this is a fun one that we only have a couple of. We actually don't have a, an official Grex name for this because we've only uh, produced this one cross from the pollen parent. Uh, but it's fun because the pollen parent is actually the variegated Aleda, the, uh, the well-known variegated plant that we've sold a lot of. So this is Maxima by Aleda. Unfortunately, it looks like the uh, Aleda does not pass on its variegation genetically, at least not in F1 crosses. Um, if one of these is female and we back cross it with the Aleda, we'll see, but uh, not, not so far. Right here is Nepenthes Velvet Mirror, which is Vicii by Mira. And you can see this cross is starting to get stripy on the peristome there. Uh, it's also got really nice leaf shape. And so these are finally starting to get going. They were sort of stuck for a while, but uh, we have a lot of, we have high hopes for this cross. Moving on, we've got a number of crosses on our big red sanguinea that we call Secret. So this right here is Secret Victory, which is Sanguinea by Ventricosa. Um, those are probably the best windowsill growing Nepenthes in the genus. Uh, this should be a really, uh, really fantastic, easy growing intermediate beginner plant. We've also got Nepenthes Secret Battle, and I covered this in the uh, last review video about six months ago. This is a very slow growing cross. Uh, the same plant was featured and it was basically the same size as it is now. So um, hopefully it'll eventually get going. This is another example of the same cross. It uh, should be good, it should be a fun plant, but um, but we really need it to, to grow in a bit more uh, to see what it can do. Right here is Nepenthes Secret Lust, which is uh, right here, Sanguinea by Lavacola. Lavacola is a fun, weird little species that's related to Spectabilis. We've got a couple of them that we really like, but you can see the secret crosses haven't yet super differentiated from each other, so hopefully in the next six months we'll get uh, we'll get some more differentiation on those. We got a few of later generations of Dream right here. Uh, this is Nepenthes Dreaming Artist, which is uh, Dentiflora by Spectabilis Giant by Aristolochiotes by Mira. So it's a complex cross, but it makes these really fat round pitchers, and uh, the peristome striping, at least on this clone, is pretty nice. We've also got Nepenthes Dreaming Oracle, which is Densiflora Spectabilis Giant by Ovada. This is a very exciting cross. You can see it's already showing some striping on the peristome. Ovada has a lot of peristome development, so this could be very nice, especially with Dream's color. And finally, this is Nepenthes Dreaming Angel, which is Densiflora Spectabilis Giant by Aristolochioides. So hopefully uh, this will start to show more Aristo shape soon and, and also get a bit more color on it. But these are a little bit smaller than the previous generation of Dream, so we're waiting for them to really get going. Got another generation of Titan here. This is Nepenthes Titanic Victory, uh, which is Truncata by Ventricosa. And actually, this is the third generation of Titan. Uh, this plant just grew so fast that we already potted it up. Its siblings aren't ready yet. Um, but this is Truncata by Ventricosa. This individual is just over a year old from seed. So as you can see, it's a nice big plant, totally saleable. Nothing we've done has grown this fast yet, so it's quite exciting. But from the uh, second generation, we've got these plants. This one right here is Nepenthes Titanic Savior, which is Truncata by Spectabilis. And it's got uh, the beginnings of peristome striping right there. And this clone has fantastic truncate leaves. Uh, these big heart-shaped leaves. Uh, some of the other clones are a little bit less dramatic in that respect, but should be pretty fun. This is Truncata by Vogelii, which is Nepenthes Titan Titanic Vision. 
starting to show some Vogelii coloration on the picture, which will be really cool because I really love that um, sort of silvery gray speckled striped Vogelii color. Um, it'll be fun to see if these produce weird upper pictures from the Vogelia as well, but that's uh, getting going nicely. And right here is pure seed-grown horticultural Nepenthes truncata. This is Nepenthes titanic tyrant. So that's uh, Titan, our big Nepenthes truncata female, along with a male in our greenhouse that we call tyrant. Got those fantastic truncate leaves, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing these put on a lot of size. Now here we've got a few more. Um, this is a later generation of Nepenthes Titanic Triumph, so that's been a pretty compatible cross for us. We've gotten uh, several different generations of this one. This is Nepenthes Virtuous Lust, which is Ventricosa by Lavacola. Um, again, these are kind of in the small, undifferentiated stage, like the rest of the secret crosses, but hopefully uh, in another six months they'll, uh, they'll start to, to show off their true colors. This is Ventricosa by Brigziana. And this plant should be very good. Brigziana, of course, is Loei by Ventricosa. Um, the Loei crosses, surprise, surprise, grow pretty slowly. But this one, you can see, there's some peristome striping. And uh, this should be quite nice once it's full grown. Here, we've got two Spathulata by Ovata, which is Nepenthes Stoic Oracle. One of the nice things about this is it's colored up quite small. Uh, again, we don't have a whole lot of this cross right now, um, but uh, you know, Ovada's got fantastic peristome development and good color, and Spathulata is one of the best hybridizers in the whole genus. Now this one I should have talked about along with the other Titan crosses, but I kind of wanted to save it for last. We only have a couple of these. This, uh, this was not a very large yield on this cross, but this is Nepenthes Titan's Bounty, which is Truncata by Bicalcarata. We've got a listing for this on our site, our kind of, our Grex index, and people have asked us about it. It's really slow growing. Uh, if you look here, you can see some of the glands that are distinctive of Nepenthes bicalcarata. Um, but we haven't yet seen any sort of teeth, but hopefully this picture will do that. The problem with this cross is that it's the same age as Titan's Mirror. These are sibling plants. And this is Titan's Bounty. This is Titan's Mirror. They've both received the same treatment of repotting and fertilizing and all that stuff. And it's just going real slow, so we're going to have to wait to see what this really does. But it's exciting, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it again if we get some more bicalcarata pollen. So that's a lot to look forward to. Um, this set is a little bit less differentiated so far than, uh, than the earlier ones that I showed. But um, hopefully in the next six months they'll continue to grow. And uh, we'll get to see some fun characteristics. And, uh, you know, also, we've got a lot more stuff coming. All these plug trays are house-made crosses, and some of them are ones we haven't potted up yet, so I haven't featured them in a video yet. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want to uh, stay abreast of what's going on in our breeding program. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.